We got this story from SCNR. Bill Maher defends Trump as audience laughs about second assassination attempt. This is a problem. I actually respect this opening segment from Bill Maher. You know, Bill certainly, I think, says a lot of dumb things that I disagree with, but he, he's, he's on point from time to time. He calls out wokeness to a certain degree. He's got Trump derangement syndrome. He famously said, if a recession stops Trump, bring on the recession. But when it comes to this, here's the opening, uh, uh, opening segment he did on his show, and, uh, and I do respect it. He's got some jokes in there. That was good. I, I, res- I respected the joke about the shooters playing through. I respect that he made he made a joke after the fact. I think it was fantastic. He opened up. He said, he, you can tell before the people laugh, he was saying, and it's not fun. And then they start laughing. Goes, it's not funny. And then he actually basically tells them, like, no, like, this is happening too much. I respect it. And then I will say, he's like, it's not it's not OK to wish it wish it happened. Everyone laughs. Now, at that point, I do think some people are laughing at the thought that people are wishing it would happen. It's like an absurdity, like in the circumstance. I don't think they're directly laughing, wishing it happened. But uh, this is a good sign, in my opinion. Not that Bill Maher has the big ratings. You know, he's got a big show. He certainly does. Um, It's not like he commands the left like MSNBC or anything, but I do appreciate that at least we're seeing some kind of pushback. Yeah, I mean, we're not seeing anything, I would say, in the influencer community, social media. Instead, on TikTok, you're seeing people wish it did happen or wish he got closer getting millions of views like they missed again like how how did it not happen and i think that's the difference here is like even though yes he's hollywood and his show sucks and he hates trump at least he's giving an ounce of respect to the president trump and saying like yeah no it's not funny because there was a large amount of people that say it's very funny especially college kids i was in pennsylvania last week talking to kids about who they're voting for why they're not voting for trump and they're like well i just hate trump and i'd never vote for trump and i'm like well why and i'm like okay well what did you think about the second assassination attempt and they're like well they missed like uh, he got caught. And that's so unfortunate that there's a large part of our generation that wishes death upon somebody. There was a lot of that the first time around, too. Yep. And the fact that I have to say first time around referring to July is kind of crazy. Uh, do you think that the hatred of Donald Trump is something that uh, people sh- who are doing get out the vote efforts should take seriously? I mean, do you just regard those people as a lost cause or are they not even voting? I, I mean, When it comes to Gen Z, like Pennsylvania, battleground state, I saw Turning Point Action directly. We registered over 600 people on college campuses to vote in the state, which is phenomenal. But then when you're talking to the people that are like, well, I hate Trump, I'd never vote for him. Some of them are kind of lost causes. The number one issue for Gen Z, I believe, is going to be abortion and it is abortion. Um, But when you talk to conservative Gen Zers, they say no inflation, um, which is such a polarizing, like two separate issues that we're talking about. Uh, And so when it comes to the Kamala Harris supporters and the Gen Zers, I think that a lot of them are lost causes because... Because they've just they've drank the Kool-Aid and they just hate Trump and they're never Trumpers. And there's no amount of facts or knowledge that you could show them or even talking about an assassination attempt that will ever change their mind, unfortunately. But we're trying. 